Hi, for those of you who think you've heard that song, It Doesn't Rain, in Southern California, I'm here to tell you it does. And so I decided because it's such a rainy day that I'll go ahead and uh, stay inside and do a review on my new Carmack Anvil 17 backpack. As you can see, I have the, the rain cover on it. It's staying nice and dry. So I'm going to head on inside and um, create a review for this bag so you can decide whether or not it might be for you. Okay, so let's talk about this bag. This is the Tamarack Anvil 17. Uh, this is a, a great bag. It's comfortable. It has an airflow harness in the back here. You know, it, uh, it provides a lot of really nice comfort. It has a big, wide uh, waist belt. It has a sternum strap. It has adjust, adjustments on the top here for the uh, weight bearing. It also has adjustments on the side of the, str of the strap. Uh, it, it really is set up and carries like a, a genuine uh, outdoor backpack. Um, I'll give you a little, little look at I put this on here. This is a, um, a Molly uh, bottle, water bottle carrier and works really nicely and you, I like this. I actually like this rather than having uh, some kind of little pouch for water bottles because usually they're kind of short and you're kind of worried about your water bottle falling out. My water bottle is not going to fall out of this. Uh, and also on the other side, it has these two straps here and there's two on, on this side. And these, are, these you can uh, get attachments to put on this side. You can put pouches or whatever else you want to do. I have a small uh, travel tripod that, that has its own um, case and it would fit nicely on the side of this bag and I think that's what I might put on here. Um, it also, uh, if you want to hook the tripod on, a big tripod, you supposedly you can use this pouch right here, and uh, what you do is you take the tri you take the tripod and you stick a couple legs in there and you close it up and you take these straps and this strap and you strap it on and it straps it on pretty nicely. I'll, I'll have a picture of it that I'll I'll show you here. Here's a picture of it right now. And uh, so that's how you would put a tripod on it. Uh, very nice bag, very good looking, nice sturdy handle on here. Uh, can't say enough about it. I, I, I've been looking for a backpack for a while now and I think I finally found one that I'm, I'm really happy about it and I'm really going to like. So yeah, this is outside of the bag, what it looks like. Uh, let's talk about some things about the bag. Uh, this bag uh, is, um, let's talk about the size. It's 12, the external dimensions are 12 by 17 by 10. Uh, the internal dimensions are uh, 11 by 16 by 6.5. So it's pretty deep. Um, this, this bag weighs about uh, 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds. So it's a, the bag is, is pretty light. Um, it's made out of, uh, the exterior is made up of 500D Cordura nylon and 840D polyester. Uh, Dolby fabric, and both of them have two times polyurethane coating, so it, it is somewhat water resistant, the bag itself. And then if you put that, um, that rain fly on that I showed you in the beginning of the video, it makes this pretty, your stuff pretty secure. Even if you get caught in a, in a rainstorm, it, you're not going to get wet. So. Uh, or your, you might get wet, but your camera gear isn't going to get wet. So anyway, so let's take a look at the inside of the bag now. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like filled up with my stuff. In the front here, in the, these little pockets in the front, I put my batteries for my uh, Sony RX100 Mark III. I have some uh, business cards in here. And I got in there. I have nothing in this little pocket. I guess eventually I'll, I'll figure out what to put in there. Okay. And in here, where our laptop top compartment is, I have my 13 inch MacBook Air, which fits very nicely in there. You can actually fit up to a 15 inch. I have my charger for my 13 inch MacBook Air. And I also have 
my um, iPad. So, okay, in the top compartment, I mean in the main compartment, I have right here. Yeah, I'll get that to go. I have nothing in the very top. I have all my batteries for my A7 III and my A6500. I have a Pelican uh, SD card case and I have a notebook in here. I'll probably put some pens and things like that in the very top uh, eventually. Okay. And then in the main compartment, I have these items. Okay. Let me see if I can get that up like that. Okay. I have uh, um, right here. Sony A6500, uh, A7 III, I have um, a small Rokinon 35mm lens with a um, Peak Design lens carry, mouse, I have a small flash in here, I have some uh, battery type stuff here, I have a, um, a power pack and some AAA batteries. I have some chargers here. I have my big flash here, my big Godox flash here, blower. I have another lens here, 85 millimeter. Uh, I have a uh, another lens in here somewhere. Oh yeah, I have a 50 millimeter 1.8. That's a charger. Another strap. Uh, a bunch of assorted items. Uh, uh, trigger and things like that. Another notebook, which I probably won't leave there. My uh, little guy here, Sony uh, RX100 Mark III. So uh, there's a lot of stuff you can put in here. The more stuff you put in, the heavier it, get, it gets. So I would advise, you know, thinking about that. Another thing to think about is when you're traveling, especially when you're traveling internationally, is they are very strict about weight restrictions and it, it is uh, for a carry-on bag it can't be over seven kilograms or 15 pounds so if you are packing it you want to make sure you don't pack it any more than 17 kilograms or 15 pounds uh, another cool feature that i told you about is i bought this and this just came in a package i showed you today it's a bottle holder that i can put on the side of the bag and hold my bottle doesn't fit quite as snug as I thought it would because it's, these are supposed to be Molly acceptable straps and the, and the Molly strap really was too a little too big for it so I just kind of put it through that, that piece there but it, it seems to be working okay this is a, I, don't know, this, I think this is a 20 ounce bottle so you can you can get these in a size where you can put a 32 ounce, ounce bottle in it if you want to so basically this is the bag I really like it a lot it's, uh, it's comfortable, and if you adjust it correctly, then it works really well. Uh, in order to put this bag on, you put it on like you're, you're putting on a, uh, you're carrying a, uh, a normal backpack. So you want to loosen up all your straps before you put it on. Uh, and then you take it, throw this baby on. This right now weighs more than than it should for a uh, for a carry-on backpack. Now, a backpack like this with a strap like this, you want to make sure that this waist belt is just a little bit above your your uh, upper hip bone right here. And this, you put the waist belt on first, tighten it up so you can feel that that weight resting on your hip. Okay, and then you. Uh, Connect your sternum strap. There we go. And the purpose of the sternum strap is to, uh, I didn't loosen that, is to just bring it tight enough, snug, not super tight, but tight enough so that so the straps don't slide off to the edges of your shoulder. So it keeps the straps where it's supposed to be. And then the last thing you do is you tighten up your chest straps, and then you tighten up these straps back here, and they're to be at like a 45 degree angle. I can reach it. Ugh. Yeah. And so when you make all those adjustments and you stand up straight, <laughs> you have to stand up straight. But when you make all those adjustments, it actually becomes a very carryable bag uh, through the airport uh, with all your stuff loaded in it. Now, like I said, you would not want to load it like I have it like now because right now 
This bag probably weighs maybe 20 pounds, maybe a little bit more than that. And you could only you can only get uh, carry 15 pounds onto the air, airplane if you're flying internationally. Uh, if you're flying domestically, a lot of domestic flights will let you get a lot take on over 20 pounds in your carry-on. But uh, so anyway, this is the uh, the Anvil. Uh, I'm sorry, the Tarmac Anvil 17. Uh, I think I finally found my my backpack that I'm going to be staying with for maybe as long as uh, as this uh, Case Logic did for me. You know, I had this bag for a long time and it just kind of outgrew it and uh, and found that I needed something a little more comfortable to because uh, I do a lot of traveling and a lot of running through the airport with uh, a bunch of camera gear on my back and I don't want it to hurt my back and I don't want it to hurt my shoulders and I want to be comfortable. So and uh, this bag fits that fits that for me. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll be bringing more. Thanks.